Well, the Phoenix Zoo is really excited to be partnering with the ASU School of Life Sciences on this particular project related to conservation research. We're just across the river from each other. We've had little bits and spurts of partnerships over the years that have made good sense and we just are really ready to take things to another level by formalizing our partnership and working together with the conservation research postdoc fellow. The position itself is a, is a postdoctoral position and so it's a research associate uh, position between ASU and the Phoenix Zoo. So it's, it hasn't been undertaken in, in this way before so in, in terms of what the structure of the position will look like and what the day-to-day -day activities are. We're, we're going to be working on that in the next couple months to, to figure out what that's going to be. It's, it's about really about building a partnership and building a bridge between the two organizations and making something new out of, out of the two organizations that can be used to link the two together. I think the challenges are to understand how zoos can play a very active role in conservation. It's always been a part of the mission of zoological parks and the Phoenix Zoo is a good example of a place that has a really distinguished history of working on conservation and reintroductions of the Arabian oryx, uh, black-footed ferret. Uh, so I think the challenges are how can we do more of that work and how can we as an academic institution help uh, the Phoenix Zoo uh, and other zoos uh, champion conservation moving forward, including uh, also, I think, their role as educators uh, for a broader conservation ethic, a biodiversity ethic. We're really pleased that Robert Maytag and his friends and family had the foresight to say that you know, Phoenix Zoo as a, as a major city needed to have a major zoo. So he put his leverage, his, his financial backing and his connections behind that and to, from the very beginning, help support a major conservation effort when the zoo was just getting its footing is really amazing. So Robert Maytag's legacy lives on in the chair position that is currently housed at ASU School of Life Sciences. And so we're really pleased to be able to come full circle back to our roots in this connection and to see what we can do together moving forward. I'll be working on developing a series of workshops uh, and symposia focused on the evolution of zoo and aquarium conservation. Uh, we're uh, kicking that off actually this spring. Uh, we have a couple of events at ASU and then we have a workshop uh, run uh, at the Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole. That'll be the first piece of the, uh, the overall project which is focused on history. Um, we uh, plan to do a second symposium at ASU and in partnership with the Phoenix Zoo focused on conservation science and, and ethics and then a final public event. So we have a series of events over the next few years that will develop this kind of uh, evolutionary story about the rise of zoo and aquarium conservation. But I hope to bring some of my existing work to the table because we can really expand on some of the work I've been doing with Jaguar in Costa Rica and in, and in Colombia with Spectacled Bear. Um, but it also gives me the opportunity to, to work on some other um, issues in terms of wildlife techniques, to develop new techniques to census small populations of species that could potentially go extinct in the next 20, 30 years or so, and develop new methods around that. So this is a unique opportunity to bring some of the skills I've developed in the past and then apply them in a slightly different way to, to really draw the strengths of the zoo and ASU together in a way that we haven't really looked at before. Well, the Phoenix Zoo is proud to be a learning laboratory. We have over a thousand animals. We have so many different experiences and opportunities for people to learn about wildlife, about habitat conservation. That's really important to us. This partnership will allow us to take that to another level, to deepen and strengthen our work and, and the production that we have in terms of contributing to understanding wildlife management, wildlife conservation, habitat management and conservation. So we're really looking forward to seeing what we can do together with the ASU School of Life Sciences as a result of this partnership.